One thing for technical analysis and technical analysis traders, we're, we're really concerned about breakouts and retracements and understanding the difference between the two. And so if we look at that in this lesson, you know, normally uh, you have a, pr a trading range or a price range where you have a low price range or low price and you have a high price and, and the security will trade within that range over a period of time. And again, that period of time can be hours, days, months, whatever that period of time. But price will tend to stay in that range. And you might have some general trends within that range where it might be flat or kind of going sideways or you might have a general uptrend, or you might have a general, let's say, downtrend, kind of within that range as stocks or securities constantly changed, you know, throughout that time frame. But then things can happen, you know, where it can break those those general trends and start, you know, reversing or going into a different trend. And is it truly happening, or is it more kind of like a fake and it's not really happening? And that's very important for us as technical traders to know when to help us when to buy and when to sell. So if we think about uh, that and conceptually, you know, trends will continue until the pattern breaks, right? So something's got to break the pattern. And when you, a lot of times what happens with breaking the pattern is something happens. There's some type of thing in the news, for example, an earnings announcement, something on a global scale, whatever it might be, or even just a rumor might, you know, break the pattern. And that's you know, what you would, what might be a breakout, right? It's going to break the pattern. Or it might be a retracement where it's really not a true breakout. And that's the idea is something happens there's some news or a rumor, and then something's going to happen, right? Some, so traders are either going to do nothing, but they might, let's say, you know, start to really panic based on that news and sell real quickly and really panic. So, oh my gosh, this is terrible news. I got to get out fast. And so they're kind of selling maybe quickly. The same thing if the news is great and there's some great announcements, they might have that fear of missing out, right? FOMO, right? They're like, wow, this is really taking off. I always thought it was really good security, but now it's really going. I got to get in fast and buy, 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 right? So you have sellers and you have buyers, right? So that disruption is actually called a breakout, right? So that means something has changed and you're broke, broken out of the new pattern. And there's either going to be a new uptrend, you know, going up, or there's maybe going to be a new downtrend. And um, you might also have like a false breakout where it breaks out, but it's not really due to supply and demand or market sentiment or anything. There's something that's, you know, causing a, a short-term disruption into it. Uh, and that could be something like which related to like position squaring, by big players, right? Real big holders of things that might be adjusting their holdings in a particular security that's causing some disruption in the market versus some more legitimate news. So like, if you think about what's some examples of this, you know, kind of like big players doing a disruption that might be a false thing, not a true breakout. Now let me share a couple examples of something that, things that are like that. So let's say you're a fund manager, a mutual fund manager, you own all the all the stuff in this mutual fund, you know, millions and millions and tens, hundreds of millions of stuff. Uh, let's say for an S&P 500 fund, and it's an index fund, and, and you have to buy more Tesla because they were just added to the index, you know, which that happened not too long ago. So they're added to the index. They weren't in the index before. So now you just have to buy the stock because they were just added to the index. It's not because you think they're great. It's just you have to do it. So that's going to cause an unusual amount of buying, and that's going to, you know, you know change that breakout because all of a sudden there's a buying for a reason beyond just, let's say, market sentiment. Or let's say Apple announces that it's going to buy its own stock back and a big purchase as part of a company's stock buyback program. You know, they're going to you know buy their own stock back. So that means they're coming in and they're actually buying stock on the open market. So if you think Apple is coming in to buy a whole bunch of stock, you know, that's going to drive the price up, right? So that has, again, nothing to do with individual traders. It's a big player coming in being disruptive. Or let's say a fund manager of a big technology mutual fund wants to lock in gains before the end of the year because that's how they're evaluated. I mean, that's how they get their bonus, right? So they want to lock in a nice bonus. And they just had a big run-up in Zoom stock, for example. So they want to sell a ton of their Zoom stock so they can lock in their gains for their annual performance and get a nice bonus. Does it say have anything to do whether Zoom is a good company or a bad company or whether technical analysis says that we should buy or sell it? No. It's a fund manager has a big player who wants to get a bonus. So sometimes those things can happen. It's not often, by the way. It's not something you have to really worry about. But just understand that it's out there. And sometimes when you see movement and you see something like there's a big announcement that might be related to it, you want to say, okay, is this really happening? Or is this just going to be a short-term type thing and it's going to come back and pull back? In fact, we call that bull that pullback retracements. And that's the, you know, that the breakout is where it breaks out and, can, and now is forming a new type of trend. Retracement is where it breaks out a little bit, but it's a minor move that's going against the trend and then it's going to come back, you know, like that big player repositioning. So if a traders think a, a current move has gone too far, 
they might have a little course correction or a little pullback, but then the trend might come back up again. As we learn through the indicators, we're going to learn how to spot breakouts and retracements and how to kind of use confirming things to see whether we're seeing a breakout or a retracement. Is it a true move or is it kind of a, a temporary type of false move? And sometimes you might see retracements, for example, where everyone has either bought or sold, right? There's an overbought situation where, you know, everybody wanted to buy is already bought, so it's extended, so it's kind of have a natural kind of come back. Same thing if something's oversold. And then we have these trade these these tools that can help us with that. One is the stochastic oscillator, which is a fun thing to say, and also will help us to identify things. And there's other tools and things we're gonna be learning about that'll do us too. Um, and a lot of times, another good way to look at it too, just early on, if you see volume rising, you know, that bottom part of the chart, you see volume rising where there's a lot of trading activity, but there's hardly any price movement, hardly any price increase, then the move is, whichever is happening is probably ending. It's starting to stall out. So we think something's been rising, uptrend, for example, it's been going great, but now there's hardly anybody doing it now. It's really starting to slow down, stall out. Might, might be a time either for a temporary pullback or retracement, or maybe we might even have a breakout in the opposite direction or it might go you know, backwards. So retracements, they can turn out to be actual trend reversals. I mean, it could be, it looks like a retrace, retracement, but really it actually is a breakout and you have a new trend, or it might be truly a, an actual retracement where it's just temporary, and then it'll kind of go back to the way it was trending again too. All of this, very normal. And with the technical analysis that we're gonna be using and using our indicators, we're gonna be able to handle and deal with both breakouts and retracements and identify great opportunities to purchase and also identify times when we might need to sell and get out as well. It works both ways.